Guys, how's it going? Carl here from North Coast Constrictors. Well, we've got a great video for you today. This is a collaboration. It's been in the making now for about, oh, I would say about a month. Um, this video is gonna feature another breeder from the UK. His name is Joe Tully from Tully's Outrageous Royals. Um, I did a collaboration with him uh, a little while back where he featured me on his YouTube channel and he has now sent me some great content. Um, fantastic content, it's, a, it's egg cutting. So they are in the process of hatching out the first of their, of their hatchlings at the moment in the Northern Hemisphere. Uh, uh, that's, that's their time of the year now for their breeding season, whereas us here in South Africa, we are currently just beginning our, our pairings, being in the Southern Hemisphere and, and it going into winter here. So, Joe has put together a, a video uh, for us introducing himself and, and his, his operation over there in Grimsby uh, in the UK. Um, and uh, guys, please watch this video. Joe's a world of knowledge. The guy's an absolute legend. He reached out to me a couple of months ago after coming across my YouTube channel. Since then, we are in contact uh, every couple of days, he's introduced me to a couple of other breeders, uh, also from uh, overseas, Southeast Asia, and in the UK as well. And uh, anyway, without further ado, this this video and this shout out is all about Joe Tully, and uh, Tully's out Regis Royals from uh, Grimsby, and that is in the United Kingdom. So Joe, over to you, bud. Hello YouTube and hello North Coast family. This video comes with a huge thanks to Carl at North Coast Constrictors. He did a collab with myself on my channel a couple of months back. And this video is just me saying thank you to Carl for sharing some awesome content with us. Um, so what I've got for you today is a clutch cutting followed by a clean up. Um, nothing too much to think about guys, just a bit of eye candy. We'll take a look at some beautiful hatchlings. Um, a little bit about the basic genetics, you know, these are basic morphs. The pairing was a Enchi Lemon Blast, so that's Enchi Pinstripe, Pastel, possible Het Pied, paired to a Pied Male. Um, so the aim of this clutch for me was to prove out the Het Pied within the female, um, which means that female will be invaluable to me going forward and knowing that she's Het Pied. Um, so let's take a look at the hatchlings, let's see if she proved out. There we go guys, two pipping already. You can already tell this one is a, at least a pinstripe entry, I can tell by the head stripe there. Um, this one's pipped as well. We're going to cut the others, this is the first clutch of the season, which was a Pastel Enchi Pinstripe, so an Enchi Lemon Blast paired to a Pied. Um, the Enchi Lemon Blast was possible het for Pied, and the reason to pair them to a Pied was to give us the best chance of proving her out. So, let's get these cut, and then we'll have a look. So I'm going to start with the eggs that haven't pipped first. So, I'll do this. So just Pull one area up on the edge of the egg. Snip into it enough to get the edge of the scissors in. And then once I'm in, I'm lifting the shell of the egg up away from the snake as far as it will go before I make the cut. Let's have a look. Wow, so that looks like a pastel pied, maybe Enchi as well because it's very low white. Hopefully that's coming out all right on camera, but definitely pied pattern, a pattern in there. You can see the white, it's definitely pastel, but because it's quite low, low white, it's making me think Enchi, but I'd have to see the head to know that for sure. Buzzing. So that's the female proved out then. She is 100% het for pied. She... 
next egg. Um, you might notice as well, I'm putting them in another tub. Um, I typically do that so that um, the, the hatchlings come out of the egg in this tub and I can use that tub for another clutch. There's no albumin in there, so it doesn't spoil. It doesn't need cleaning. I can just use it straight away for the next tub, for the next clutch, sorry. Same method again. Just pulling that shell up away from the hatchling as far as it'll go. Oh, now that's, that's pretty. That's definitely Enchi. Got some uh, noisy kids in the lounge, if you can hear them. I'm not, I'm not sure if this is pied, you know, because um, if it was Enchi, it would be very low white pied. I'd have to see that out, the, out of the egg. Very pretty though, really pretty. These oranges coming up the sides there, wow, that is phenomenal. Wow. So, next one, next one then. Lemon blast. Ooh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's a lemon blast. 100% hepapide as well. Which I have hatched lemon blast before. This seems a little bit brighter, so I'm, I'm assuming that's the pied influence. Right, these are the two that I've already picked. I have got a feeling that um, this one is pied as well. It's either that or it's extremely light, but we'll have a look anyway. Yep. Yeah. I'm thinking inchy pastel pied with that. Wow, really pretty. The oranges on that come up really high. Can't wait to see that out the egg. So when they've got the, the head caught like that, um, I'll use exactly the same way of cutting it but I'll stop short before I get anywhere near the head I'll stop there with a cut and then just gently tear there we go I believe that is an entry pin very pretty very happy with that clutch So they'll stay in that box now, go straight into the incubator and um, I'll show you when, when they're all out of the egg. Right guys, so all of those snakes are now out of the egg. It is two days later. Um, the, it didn't take them too long to come out of the egg, which tells us that we didn't cut too early. Here's the first one. So initially, I thought because of the head on this one, I thought this one was Enchi because how the eye stripes join onto the head. But just having a look at the rest of the snake's body, it's not Enchi. This is a pinstripe, het for pied, 100% het for pied, no doubt. The, um, the sire of this clutch was a visual pied, so there's no question. Great little snake for somebody um, starting out breeding. Good expression of the pinstripe gene. Very deep colours. 
they've got really nice heads it doesn't come out great on camera but the blushing on the heads is really nice and this one is a male i believe i have six a couple of them already yep male very nice um oh i'll leave that one there actually hopefully it's, it doesn't run off and i'll show you what happens when we stack pastel on top of that there you go look so this is a pinstripe pastel or a lemon blast and you can just clearly see the difference there night and day the best tool for id and snakes out of the egg is its siblings so you can quite clearly see if you're new to it if we know that's a pinstripe what gene that's in the equation goes on top of that which makes it look like this if it was the entry gene then it would make the the, the actual pinstripe wider um, so yeah this is a lemon blast and that's a pinstripe next two up then guys is these two beautiful pastel pieds um, I did think in the egg that these were Enchi Pides, but again, I was wrong. It took them coming out of the egg for me to see that these are not Enchi. These are just Pastel Pides. I say just like it's it, it, it's it's not, not much. I do, I do them a bit of injustice there, but they are extremely pretty. And the, the Pastel is really doing a, a number on, on the pattern. Um, I'm really... Oh, how to run it um yeah we've got 1.1 .1 here um, one's of male and one's of female but i can't remember which one's which so this is the female that i have in my hand I'm not playing ball really low white which is what struck me about these and this is the male Just double check to make sure I'm getting it right. Yep, yeah. oh, and that one is off. Right, these two little lasbos, I'll put them back because they're not playing ball, and I'll show you the, the last one of the clutch. On to the jewel of the clutch, then. Really pretty snake. Enchi pied this one or pastel enchi pied should I say um, it's, it's, it's thrown me for a loop this one because I, um, I already have a female enchi pied in my collection which I was holding back from last season um, there's no pastel in the mix but it's sort of making me um and out whether to hold this one back or not I'll show you here actually as um, a comparison she's running off but she won't get far so this is a, f a female from last season um, she's a little bit smaller because she was a slow starter but she's eating good now um, but this is an enchi pied and then we add pastel to it and you know we get this the always entry pies are always low white um this one is exceptionally low white but as you can see from the pastel pies in this clutch they're low white as well so perhaps this line of pastel creates low white pies as well or maybe it's just one of them things we don't know it's not a completely fair comparison because this female is also 100% het for ghost and ghost does have a, a visual expression het ghost so, does sorry um, but there they are side by side very happy there you are 
of it, guys. You can't beat low white pides. I really love the low white pides. You know, it just gives you so much more of that pattern to look at. The pastel gene in that clutch as well is really jazzing that pattern up. And that brings me quite nicely onto a little side note I wanted to add to this video. Um, that is around the pastel gene. And we always look at the pastel gene as a, a gene which brightens and enhances and brings in those yellows, which it does, and it does a, a tremendous job of. But what we overlook is the pattern influence that the pastel gene can have. And um, I would just encourage all you guys who are tinkering with your genes to explore that, um, explore the pastel gene more, that I still feel that there's, there's plenty more to be discovered with that gene. It is everywhere and everyone does have it in their collection and for a good reason. Um, it's, a, it's a powerful gene, you know, it does bring the colour, it enhances, it goes great in Desert Ghost and some and other recessive traits as well. So, you know, experiment with a pastel gene, guys. There is, there's more to explore there. Massive thanks to Carl at North Coast Constrictors. Thank you very much for having me on, mate. You guys are all watching Carl's channel and you will see the same as I do, that, that this guy is just bleeding passion and determination and just, it, it's just great to see. I love seeing it and I'm sure you guys too, do too, so. Um, that just leaves. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you for watching. I will see you on the next one. Well, what a fantastic video. And Joe, congratulations on hatching out those pods. Fantastic. Every breeder loves to prove out a gene. And, uh, you know, if you've got a possible hit pod or a possible hit, anything pos hit, and you have that clutch of eggs and you, you cut those eggs and, and out pops a visual... Man, that's just the greatest feeling. So I'm so super stoked for you, brother. Well done. Guys, I'm pretty sure you can see Joe runs a top class uh, operation there. Uh, hit the uh, like and subscribe button on my channel as well. Go over to Tully's Out Regis Royals. Uh, there'll be a, a banner at the bottom here now with that. Go follow Joe Tully. Watch, watch, watch the man's videos. He is an absolute world of knowledge. I have learned a lot um, from Joe watching his videos. I'm a new ball python breeder. Not a lot of guys reach out to new guys. Um, obviously, a lot of guys are keen to sell snakes, and uh, you know they'll they'll reach out to you and make a sale, and and so on and so forth. But there, it's very few and far between that when a new ball python breeder comes on the scene. Uh, that guys just reach out and want to help uh, you succeed. And, um, you know, we are on opposite ends of the world. I haven't bought a snake from him, although I'm pretty sure I will one day. Um, but Joe reached out to me just for the love of the industry and the, he enjoyed my content on my YouTube channel and he just wants to see it improve. And he helped me where... Uh, he picked up a couple of things, some mistakes that I made as a, as a novice breeder, um, things that I was saying on my YouTube channel, but he enjoyed my, my style of making a video. And uh, he also loves to see new people in the hobby, just like I do. Um, since then, I've made a couple of other connections uh, through Joe that, uh, in uh, different parts of the world as well. I hope to do a collaboration with those guys. We'll save their names for if and when we ever do a collaboration. But guys, once again, just a massive shout out to Joe Tully for such incredible content and showing us those beautiful hatchlings that, that, he, that he's just hatched out. And Joe, um, best of luck, buddy, for the rest of the season. And I hope all your clutches are, are healthy and that you get everything that you're aiming for. Um, Max would love to be here as well to, to, to be part of this video, but he's, but he's with his mom at the moment. And, uh, but I'm, I'll be sure to show him this video afterwards. So guys, here in South Africa, show some love to my man Joe Tully overseas in the UK. And uh, go check out his YouTube channel. Promise you, you won't be sorry. Anyway, cheers until the next video.